Hi there, I'm Dr. Albert Chung, and welcome to your friendly proctologist. Thanks so much for being here. Please like and subscribe, it greatly helps the mission of this channel. And I want to thank you for the feedback that I've been getting about the video consultations. I'm so glad it's been helpful for so many of you. And it's been great to meet so many people from around the world. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one time with me, please email me at the email address below. It's yourfriendlyproctologist at gmail.com. All right. I've recently gotten to a question with a patient about this question. And I know there's a ton of confusion out there. All right. So the question is, who do I see for my hemorrhoid or anal fissure problems? Do I see a gastroenterologist or GI? Or do I see a proctologist colon rectal surgeon? And there's so much garbage out there, okay? For instance, and oh, I should first tell you, why is there so much confusion? The reason is, this is the bottom line, is it's marketing, it's advertising, okay? Everybody wants you to spend their money at their clinic, at their location, at that doctor's office, okay? It's really not that different from buying a TV at Best Buy or another electronics store, okay? We don't want to think about it that way, but really, they want your cash, and they also want you to spend your insurance dollars. On the same way, I have my own office. I would, of course, rather have everyone come to me. But in the end, you need to make the best decision for you. And so this video, brutally honest, is what it, you know, I'm going to give the info to you. So let's talk about the difference between a GI and a colon rectal. You know, what's the same? Blah, blah. GI doctors are specialists from internal medicine. So they do their internal medicine residency training, which is blood pressure, cholesterol, you know, a lot of other medical conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, a bunch of things like that. And then they do more specialist training in GI. So they have a medical background, okay? Colon rectal surgeons or proctologists have are subspecialists of general surgeons, okay? So they do general surgery first. Where they do surgery in the belly, surgery in the arms and legs and breasts, exam for example. And then we go and specialize in the butt, okay? <laughs> but in belly conditions. And... Why is that make things so different? Well, medicine, the GI guys, they deal with a lot of prescribing medications. They're trained in this. They know the side effects. They know what medications to use here and there. But they also do procedures like colonoscopies. And for hemorrhoids, for example, they'll do bandings. But they are limited in terms of the procedures and the level of um, things they can do for hemorrhoids, for example. They cannot do hemorrhoid removals or stitching like that. They can't. They also can't do anal fissure surgery like a lateral sphincterotomy. It's not in their licensure, in their certification, or their training. If they get, if they start doing that kind of thing, you're gonna, they're going to get into lawsuits. It becomes malpractice at that point. Okay. All right, what about the surgeons, the colon rectal surgeons? Well, like I said, we're procedure, surgical based. So we really don't know too much about the medications. We leave that to the GI doctors because they're better at it, okay? And we do procedures from A to Z, from minimally invasive office like banding. But we can also go a little bit further, remove hemorrhoids, do some stitching up of things. And we can also go to the operating room and do a hemorrhoidectomy, do a THD, do the sphincterotomy, all of these things, right? And so how do you know who to see then, okay? And this is my own opinion, okay? So when we're talking about hemorrhoids, I think that seeing a surgeon, I'm biased, remember, is the best thing. Why? Because for hemorrhoids, it's very much about the anatomy and determining and not being limited by a procedure just because you can't do a surgery. So if I see any patient in the office, you just pick anybody off the street that has a hemorrhoid issue, 
I can take care of that person no matter what size hemorrhoids they are. I can give them all the options to do it. A GI doctor, they're going to say, well, I can do a banding for you. We'll try it two or three times. But if it doesn't work, I'm going to need to send you to a surgeon. Or you may see the GI doctor and say, you know, I can't, I can't do anything for this. I, you know, you're going to need to see a surgeon. And then for anal fissures, the GI doctor may say, well, I can give you a cream. And you say, you know, soften your poop. But... If it doesn't work, you're going to need to see a surgeon. There are way more GI doctors. I don't know how many times more of them there are in the world or in the country than colon and rectal surgeons. Proctologists, colon and rectal surgeons, we're a very small group of people. We're growing, but definitely not to the same degree as GI doctors. So it's gonna be easier for you to find a GI doctor in your area. You look up online on Yelp or on Google, you're trying to search for reviews and you see a ton of GI doctors for hemorrhoid search, then you do surgeons, okay? And so it might be easier for you to at least get in to see a doctor and have it be a GI doctor, right? And I totally get that. You know, at least get seen, get started, maybe start with some medications. Maybe that might help you, okay? But for some people, that may not be enough. And you may need to see a, a second doctor, see a surgeon. And that may be more time spent, um, more time, you know, seeing other doctors, other appointments. And that also equates to more money being spent, okay? In addition to you missing out of work and whatnot. And so I think that in the end here, like I said, the it's about advertising, attracting you to spend your dollars. So you're going to see a lot of places that say hemorrhoid surgery center or hemorrhoid care, hemorrhoid um, a comprehensive center or center of excellence for hemorrhoids. You're going to see these kind of places. Does that, does that, is there such thing as a center of excellence for hemorrhoids? There is not. It is all advertising okay it does not mean that they are that the doctors in that place are the best in treating the hemorrhoids guarantee you it is simply a marketing tactic okay so definitely do your research how do you know between a gi doctor and a surgeon it's very hard to tell you know let's say you're looking at dr smith and you want to know, are you a surgeon or are you a GI doctor? You know, I want to see a surgeon. I want to make sure I see a surgeon. I want to make sure I see a GI doctor, whatever. A lot of times these places will not tell you if they are a GI doctor or not. They'll just list a bunch of bottom end conditions or GI conditions and say, this doctor treats everything, okay? Be very, very careful careful with these types of things again it's trying to attract you to just go in yes of course to get phenomenal care but they're trying to get you in to spend your money there okay everybody here in the united states of america is a consumer okay it's all about where do you want to spend your money and i'm trying to give you t i want to give you tips so that you are very well informed and you know where your money is going towards so the best way to find out if it's a gi or surgeon is to just look online i have a video which i'll um, put in the description box and above here you can look to see if they're a colon and rectal board certified surgeon okay if they're not there on that list of surgeons you can assume that this person's either a gi doctor it could be an internal medicine doctor. It could be a family practice doctor. They could be a general surgeon. They might be who knows God what type of person, okay? They might even be a physician assistant. Could even be a nurse practitioner, okay? That's how all these things can be disguised. And I, and I don't mean that in a very derogatory term. But I've seen too many stories of people being deceived and misled when they're looking for something and they say, oh, yeah, we do that here. And then they go in and find out that they were not able to get the care they, that he or she needed. So thank you so much. If you have any questions and comments about this video, please let me know. I try to make a big overview. There's a lot to this video. So I hope this helped you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.